In Denver, there is a playground where they say white families not allowed. Oh my God, this is insane. When I was in younger school, it wasn't taught Would that much. Would you say that black only dormitories as well? It certainly creates a sense of community. I don't see any problem with that. We have sororities, we have male only dorms. It is wrong, because if it was a white only dormitory, to address your previous assertion that uh, race means nothing, critical race theory is not being taught in schools. It is a academic theory that's pretty much delegated only to higher academia. They are not teaching it in schools. Your explanation of it- They're not teaching critical race theory in schools. Let's define, let's define critical race theory. Race theory definition. I'm on my phone so y'all can't see. Definition. A set of ideas that racial bias is inherent in many parts of Western society, especially in its legal and social institutions, on the basis of their having been primarily designed for and implemented by white people. Here's what I'm going to say. Um, when I was in school, like elementary and middle school and high school, critical race theory was not taught directly, but it was definitely implied. Meaning, let's say you're in a history class or a history lecture, they're not going to tell you that white people are racist or that white people have it out to get you, but they will imply that white people have it out, uh, have it out against you or are racist. But when they're teaching lessons, it just, and here's the thing, it's all dependent on who your professor is or who your teacher is and their opinions on it. Because you can't even control that and their schools aren't making it a mission to mandate no racism it just it is it, it is implied and it's definitely taught once you get to higher education like college so let's continue it's an oversimplification you address the real history behind it unlike most people and why if race means nothing does it affect our history say 1921 tulsa race massacre why is there such evil history with something that supposedly means nothing okay so first of all you're wrong it is being taught in elementary school so i'll give you an example not only is it being taught, it's being enforced. Ooh. So in Denver, there is a playground where they say white families not allowed. Oh, Would my you support God. That? that seems like a ridiculous edge case. So I'll give you another example. Actually, in the National Education Association's training manual, which is the largest teacher union in the country, they had a seminar on how to teach critical race theory to kids. That sounds like it's in our schools, doesn't it? What, what that is, is it's literally just common sense. It's saying that this is real history. This is what has happened in the past. This is insane. When I was in younger school, it wasn't taught that much. It, it really wasn't. So it's crazy the fact that it's being pushed now. And here's an example of it that I wasn't even meaning to bring up in this video. But look at this, y'all. Happy New Year. Welcome to January 2024 issue of the monthly diversity digest this is johns hopkins university this is their diversity equity and inclusion um i forgot she leads the diversity equity and inclusion at their med school at johns hopkins this year will be in a new location the chevy chase auditorium Nota engineer blah, blah blah this is this is the this is the officer diversity word of the diversity word of the month privilege is the word of the month privilege is a set of unearned I mean, of unearned benefits given to people who are in a specific social group, privileges operates on personal, interpersonal, culture, and institutional levels, and provides advantages and favors to members of dominant groups and expense of members of other groups. In the United States, privilege is granted to people who have membership in one or more of these social identity groups. This is crazy. White people, able-bodied people, heterosexuals, cisgender people, males, Christians, middle or only class people, middle-aged people, I don't even, in English speaking people. This is basically her defining privilege. This is her showing that privilege is, you know, <laughs> for all these types of people. I don't know, man. That's insane to me. But that is critical race theory. It's basically enforcing that if you are this, you have inherently more privilege. And this young man refuses to see that. I don't know why. That's literally a college person. But yeah, let's continue. Right. So what matters? Okay, got it. So, for example, do you would you say that black only dormitories is wrong? It certainly creates a sense of community. I don't see any problem with that. We have sororities. We have 
male only dorms right so racial differences are irrelevant and immaterial chromosomal differences actually do matter it is wrong because if it was a white only dormitory that is that is it was a whole civil rights movement when they did that yes it's wrong it is wrong why are you doing why are you gas? I feel like I'm being gaslit right now. Let's continue. But let me ask you a question. Are there differences between races? No, not biologically. Then why would we have different dormitories for races? Culture. Segregation is what you're arguing for, my friend. No, sir. No, sir. How, how is yes. it not segregation to have blacks in their own dorm? You've just, you've just pigeonholed me, essentially. You've essentially just like... You've distracted from my original argument. No, no, you, you did that to yourself. Let's yeah. reemphasize. So, okay, so okay. Ibram X. Kendi argues, who is one of the leading thinkers of critical theory, race theory, discrimination today to atone for discrimination of yesterday. We have black only graduation ceremonies at Columbia University, black only dormitories across the country, for example, at Western Washington University. Can you join me today in saying black only dormitories are evil, wrong, and it's segregation? You still haven't answered my question about why does this history simultaneously mean nothing? Well, I'm happy to also, answer that, but the fact you're dodging segregation in America, why is that? I'm arguing against, I'm arguing against segregation. So you're against black only dormitories? No, you are literally arguing for segregation. And this is my problem. This mindset is literally racist. And I've said this a million times in my videos, because when you say that there can be black only dorms, but in your mind, it can't be white only dorms. What you're saying is it's only segregation. It's only wrong when my race of people do it because my race is superior. That's what you're saying. Whereas Charlie Kirk in this situation is saying, no matter your race, you have the same rules. If it's a black only, if it's white only, if it's Latino only, if it's if it's Indian only, if it's Chinese only, it is racist. But what you're saying is it's only racist when my people do it because my people, you know, we're above y'all. Y'all can't be racist to us. We run everything. We are the bosses. We are we are the leaders in society. We can't be that that mindset is racist and that mindset is what caused segregation that mindset it was is what led to the civil rights movement for black people and wants us wanting to fight that mindset is what's wrong with society because you don't see black people as, as equal you really don't and you may think you do but obviously there's something in you stopping you from seeing that because every time there's a wronging you refuse to see it because a black person does it because in your mind you look at them as like as, as inadequate it's like when a kid does something bad you're like oh it's just a kid that's your mindset on black people and i don't agree with it i will never agree with it well you said it was a force of community and then for your not for critical race that's theory an option we have choice oh so you could choose to segregate that's that's a pigeonhole you're what do you think of white only dormitories what would you support white only dormitories everybody has a choice so what? I think white only and black only anything is evil and wrong. That's why I hate critical theory and critical race theory, because when it's Which put in practice, when it's put in practice, you start to discriminate people based on race. So we're now south of the Mason-Dixon line in North Carolina. We did a lot of work to get rid of segregation in this country. Why are you trying to bring it back? What work? What work? What is what is wrong with this generation, bro? Like, I really don't understand. I don't get it. He said, what work have we done in America? As if America isn't literally the greatest place on earth for black people. Ever. Like, this time right now is the greatest for black people. If I'm wrong, please enlighten me. Please enlighten me. But we have young Americans, young college students, who are so caught up in this in this racial or political debate, they're just become delusional. Like you are genuinely delusional, man. And it's kind of scary because you are supposed to be this type of advocate for African-Americans or black people or, or people who do not have a privilege. But instead, you just sound like a, a delusional, spoiled college kid who doesn't know what's going on in society. He said what work he believes in segregation but only when only when black people do it he doesn't want white people to, to segregate because in his mind he said what as if that's never happened before but when it did happen it was a big problem now you want to bring the problem back for another race you this is just this is just this drives me insane y'all i don't even know 
how this is let me finish this video out um the national the civil rights act of 1964 in this state uh yeah actually in this state <laughs> are there black only bathrooms out there i'm unaware of or white only bathrooms nah right a lot of work was done in the state Fuck you, your, your face is small. What? So you just gonna insult him at the end of the video? <laughs> like, this is this is our generation. And this is these are the people who wanna be taken seriously in society. Like <laughs> this is sad, man. This is sad. This is sad. <laughs> you have any suggestions for me, comment down below. LFR Jones and I see you.